stop. I, you can stop. I'm actually full. <laughs> cool. It's stop. Yeah. I'll oh. see what I can get. You don't right. need any more? I, th I think so. You okay? So. What are you What are you giving her? <laughs> Gifting her wine bottles. She asked me to for the oh right decoration. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, so she'll find something to do with them. <laughs> All right, let's open a prayer. <laughs> Lord, thank you so much for um, thank you, Jesus. just your word. Thank you thank for the you peace Jesus. that it brings and the personal involvement that you have in our Absolutely. lives through it. Pray that we would learn from one another, yes. from our study, so that we can um, understand when the battle happens, when the bloodshed happens, when you come, uh, who fights who. And I just thank you so much uh, that we do learn from one another. Thank you for this time that we have. Uh, in your precious name we pray. Amen. 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 <coughs> All right. Um, So if I said uh, Revelation 1, what what's that chapter talking about? What John saw. Gonna, what John saw. Right. Exactly. Soon that gives place. us the whole theme of the yeah. whole book, doesn't right. it? Soon um, take place, yes. So if we had to divide them into segments <coughs> of the book, how would we do that? One, two, three, four, and up. One, two, three, four. <coughs> Which talks about well, no, one, two, three talks one about to what is coming, churches, two and three churches, and then future, four, right, two. and then future, right? Mm -hmm. um, chapter seven, just from your memory, what do you what do you think? One hundred forty-four thousand, and we automatically jump to what chapter to do? Uh, fourteen, right? So if chapter is eleven before fourteen, what's eleven? Two the two witnesses, which tells you what about the 144,000 and the two witnesses? They're on earth at the same time. They're on earth at the same time. Right. Um, we got seals, trumpets, and bowls. If you wanted to know where the bowls were, what chapter would you go to? 16. 16. Did we get all seven in one chapter? No. No. Yes, we do. The seven bowls in the other chapter? No, that's a trumpet. Yeah, all, all the bowls are in one chapter. It's all the same. Isn't yeah. it 16? It is chapter 16. There are five. Yeah. But that's what I'm, I'm Seventh remembering. Seventh bowl is verse 17. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, oh, the first one is 17. What do we learn about the seals? Yes. Okay, like one through four. What do you remember about the seals? The horses. Yeah. Five. They're the horses. Yeah. Right. Um, what's the first one? White horse. So white, white one, which now we think is Antichrist. Is the Antichrist. Yeah. Give me some opposites. He has faults, Jesus has truth. So white horse, <coughs> there's one. Yeah. Okay. Well, what's he wearing? A sash. Yeah, and, and a, a crown. And, crown. and a crown, right. but so is Christ. Jesus, yeah. Yeah. Right? And yeah, he different. comes on a white horse. On a white horse. Um, what's some other? Antichrist is the false. They're the true. Jesus is the true. The faithful well, and the true. The faithful and the true. That's his name. Yeah. Lie. True. Lying. Right. He's a lying. Jesus is true. That's another good one. How? Well, he uh, does false signs as compared to. Good. Good. Um, in your study this week, you learned about how the kings were gathered. How were they gathered? Those froggies. Right. By the three. Three. Spirits. The exactly. Dirty spirits. And they do what? Well, they're prepared for war. They are prepared for war, but why do the kings follow them? What do they do? False wonders and wonders and signs. So here we go with an opposite mm -hmm. again. Then, but Jesus, follow me. Follow, me. follow and they do. I mean, yeah. my gosh, they do false and frogs. And we have an unholy trinity. Right. Right. Who are they? The beast. The Satan and the false prophet. Satan and the false prophet. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, think of any other opposite. Those are the ones that come to me at this point. Oh, good, bad. A big one. <laughs> well, well, you have the, the eternal the, life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Eternal right. destruction. Uh, yeah. Eternal yeah. life and eternal destruction. Right. Yeah. Big opposite. And yes, the horn that dies, dies and then comes back, comes back, right. back to life. Yeah. Right. Was, <coughs> was, right. Is it was is it, it, it is was not the seventh. Yeah, something like that. that. Yeah. Right? What was totally before and now it's so clear. I know. 
24. Just add, yes, that number, and like, that seven plus one is eight, so how can it be part of this set? Exactly. Now I get that. I'm yes. like, yeah. oh, I did get that cleared up. That's awesome. Um, can you think of any more? That's all I can think of off the top of my head. I'm thinking of the day of the Lord and the different ones. It's called. Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, a day of the Lord, day of destruction, and it's in the Valley of Decision, the Valley right. of Jehoshaphat. Right? Right? Mm -hmm. right? Um, we have two separate armies. <coughs> That's for sure. One we know wins, one does not, mm -hmm. and they know they don't. That's, no. that's what that's that what Larry said. Life. That's what Larry said. This is available to everybody in the world. Don't they read it? Yes, they do. <laughs> and they were there when John saw it, yeah. right? So it's like, nope. are you cleared up now? As um, <laughs> as I was so confused for the longest time that Satan is now cast out of heaven. There was found no place for him. Yes, you get mm -hmm. that now. Yeah. Yes. That's, we don't go back to the Garden of Eden. No. All right. No. He he was cast down as an angel, but he has access to right. the throne. Mm -hmm. So what happens when he's cast down? There's no longer access. He no longer has access. Right. Now he's just stuck. On earth. <laughs> no wonder he's so angry. Right? Yeah. Because he knows exactly. what that looks Oh like. my goodness. Yeah. Okay, no wonder he's angry. Um, and if I don't go, says, go there, neither do I you. <laughs> right? I, 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 I think that's all I can think of at this it's point. Like this um, but again, I've never seen that before, except now that we've spent so mm -hmm. much time in Revelation. Your life. It's been incredible. Wow. Opposite, opposite. And we only have four more weeks. Oh, so. yeah. what? I know. It's kind of crazy. All right. Let's start with our homework. Um, battles and bloodshed. That's what we're going to name this one, because that's pretty much yeah. what we were studying. Okay. Your studies in Revelation uh, 14, 16, and 19, what did you find? I wonder if this battle is going to be fought. Yeah. Because it always said Armageddon. Um, right. But does it start there? Yeah, but what happened in the before that? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. What where did you find that it started? And if you pulled out your map, um, you know, start making some notes on there, you'll probably want that out during the DVD as well. And did you have your map out and did you look at it and go, well, this doesn't help at all? Because some of the things that they mentioned aren't on it. Well, I Googled it. So. But, yeah. see, well, that's what I would have done, too. I pulled out the giant book of maps. There you yeah, go. I right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And pl plug those places in. Yeah. Yeah. You have a major time frame now that you can plug in. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> blood on the earth when the clusters are reached. And thrown into God's wine press of wrath. Now that's what that chapter 14 says. Okay? We know that will happen. Mm -hmm. um, we also learned outside the city uh, for about 200 miles is going to be blood. Right. And in the homework we were told yes. from where to where is 200 miles. Armageddon to Jahab. To Right, right. Okay, so, oh, was that just. Coincidence? Yes. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's 200 miles. <laughs> so now, where do you think it's going to start? Where is that battle going to start? Edom. Edom. Bonser. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. It's going to start at Edom. Um, we also found that the Euphrates is dried up. We knew that. But why is it dried up? So, so the kings, kings can come. come. So, so the kings can just come right across. Yeah. East. Right. What are they coming across for? <coughs> for battle. For battle. battle. Who's gathering them to come? The unclean spirits. spirits. All those unclean spirits, right. And the unholy trinity and the sign to gather them for war. Yeah. Why would they come for war? Because he wants to rule the earth. Right, yeah. right. And he's gone out to deceive. Yeah. Right? Yes. So, collect more followers. How yeah. would you deceive a king <clears throat> into getting into army with you at battle? I mean, he's going to put his. How would they to promise more land? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't that what kings always want? Yes. yes. More dominion. Yep. Okay. More power. You come fight for me. I'll give you this. Give you right. power. Yes. Right. No, so that's kings promise. a kingdom yet. Right. If you come and fight. I'll give you. A kingdom. I'll give you yeah. even more. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Lie, 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 and lie because. What does he know at the end of the battle? <laughs> he will lose. <laughs> he already knows. He already knows. He, he already loses. Right? Yeah. 
Okay? Wow. But lying is his native tongue, remember? Yeah. yeah. Okay? That's what he is. If we go into, um, okay, we just said that. 19. Right. We know that the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords treads the wine press. Right. But now, when was the wine press tread? Back in 14, correct? Mm -hmm. And we know it's Jesus that treads that wine press. And we know us, that yeah. the clusters are people. People. People, people. Because when he presses it down, Blood. it comes out. Blood. Right. Okay? So, now you know that that's at the sixth bowl. Okay? So if we didn't have that on our little timeline, now we do. Okay? I would never pick that up until you got to this point. Chapter 10, right? Lesson 10. I'm like, oh, oh yeah. I can't connect that dot. Yes, that makes total sense. How come I didn't get that in part two, three, or I don't know. Just didn't. It wasn't the time. Yet. And I wasn't reading with the purpose of looking for vowels. Yeah. Okay? Right. I was reading with a different purpose. Yeah. Okay? That's not so great. Wait till I reset the approach. Read for this purpose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because there's so many purposes to, yes. to, to gain. And then things but start focus on it out. A and they at have a time. to go right. in a certain order. Right. Otherwise. Just I'm right. <laughs> yep. Yeah, no, you're good. Okay. All right. Nations go against Jerusalem. Why does everybody hate Jerusalem? Because God it's just loves a city. God's name is yes. Because city. that's where so, it really started. That's where it really. Began. And Satan knows that he will never get the Jerusalem, so <laughs> yeah. he just wants to. He wants right. that, right? Because he knows he can't, so that's why he wants it. And you know what? Just because is it you brought up like last that? week or two weeks ago about it being such a small yes. square square footage, footage. Mm -hmm. like and, and why does it, why is it so important to want it? So when you put out the the battle cry, right? See, it's just I can just sort of hear hear the Antichrist now. It's just a puny place. But if we take it, we have control over blah blah blah. True, blah. true. Right. So that they but what's being fought over this. now? <coughs> why? A puny place. Can you just yeah. not leave him alone? <laughs> just, no. No, they can't. No, because no, God loves him. Name of God. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yes. Because this is his story. Covenant will not be broken. It and God not. gave that to choose. Right. And no, that is. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Um, we went into Zechariah. Which, you know, we Ooh, read that before, yes. but now I read the different verses. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. that I makes love sense that. that. Yeah. It's just right. an amazing thing. No. So if we um, go to 14.2, okay, Jerusalem's captured. I'm like, but wait, that can't happen. Yeah, it doesn't uh, yeah, yeah, It has real. to happen yeah. for other yeah. things to happen. Right. Right? For him to right. be on the Exactly. Board. Okay. So he says, I will gather all the nations against Jerusalem. Who's doing that? God. God's God. doing that. God is. Yes. Friends. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, it, because yeah. he wants to cleanse, and right. yes. he's in control of the battles, even exactly. though Satan thinks he is. But it says, I will gather all the nations against Jerusalem to battle. Yeah. And the city will be captured. Mm -hmm. The houses are going to be plundered. The women are going to be ravished and half in. The city is exiled, but half <coughs> stay there. Stay there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay? Because there's always a remnant. Mm -hmm. There will always be a remnant because of the covenant. covenant. Yeah. Right. Okay? So... Then the Lord will defend her inhabitants. Mm -hmm. So there's a timeline right there, okay? Um, and set about to destroy the nations. So who's going to destroy the nations? Oh, the Lord, God. God. Right, right. Okay. I had the hardest time. I have to say that I a little bit picked mm -hmm. a commentary because the Lord, we know that it's going to be Jesus who's going to do it the, the last battle. Right, right. We do. So who do I... Do I put that to God or Jesus? I would put Jesus because that, Jesus. he's definitely one doing the battle. Yeah. Right. right? But it's still, it's yeah. in the Old Testament, it so is. it was like war. It is. What, which is so cool if you uh, read Old Testament looking for um, theophanies. Theophanies are a, um, how do I explain that? It's a appearance of Christ who fought mm -hmm. with uh, Joseph Jacob Jacob and tried to change his name to Israel that was Christ mm -hmm. yeah okay um, who was in the fiery furnace with Shadrach Meshach and Abednego yeah that was Jesus okay 
But he hasn't come yet. Oh, but he always is. Uh -huh. And yeah. he has but always been. So, and he, yeah. he, he always is the been. Old, old Testament too, but exactly. still it was a, So it's cool yeah. to mark that cross, uh -huh. Jesus, yes. in, in the, the old, Testament. old Testament. Yeah. So that's, it's like, see, he has always been here. Mm -hmm. Always, always, always. He just didn't put on flesh until Bethlehem. Right. Yes. So, right. but he's always been here. All right. Mm -hmm. um, 12, 10, and 13, 1 of Zechariah. That will be the time of his second coming. Remember when all Israel is saved. And that's going back to mm -hmm. Romans. Okay? Um, how do you explain when all Israel is saved? Because the Jerusalem, I mean, half of the city is gone. And the house is plundered. And so how would you explain that to someone? Well, the <coughs> remnant who has always all been there. All who believe. Yeah. It's believe. never changed. It's still all mm -hmm. who believe. That's Israel that is saved. The ones who believe. Okay? Never changes. Scripture never contradicts itself. Okay? Um, how did you explain that? The spirit of grace. Okay, I get that. Mm -hmm. And supplication. What is supplication? Praying, uh, really a mean, like a name. Yes, specifically yes. Yes. praying. Lifting someone up specifically for a specific need. Why do they need that? <laughs> because they are definitely in need. Boy, are they in need, okay? Because uh, is this a happy time for them? No. No, they go to a tribulation. Right. And when you think of grace, do you associate that with salvation? Yes. Oh, yes. I do. It's yeah. So if all Israel is saved, <clears throat> they're calling out right. for the grace and supplication that he's promised. But what's the fountain for? Cleansing. Right. Sin and impurity, which is what you get cleansed of when you get saved. Right. Okay? These are other verses that can back up when all Israel is saved in Romans. So every Jew is saved because some Jews will tell you that. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. That's, no. Right. That's right. No. It's like we're all God's children. No. No, we're all created in God's image. Right. But we're not all God's if children. You believe. If you believe, then yes, mm -hmm. you are. Okay. These things are taken out of context every day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. The Lord's coming. Let's go to Isaiah. So we went in uh, 34, 35, right? 34. And 63. Okay. 34, 35, we had three 63. different ones. Okay. Um, when we read Isaiah 34, uh, the Lord's, verse 2, For the Lord's indignation is against all the nations and his wrath against all their armies. He has utterly destroyed them. He has given them over to slaughter. So their slain will be thrown out, and their corpses will give off their stench, and the mountains will be drenched with their blood. What does that make you think of in Revelation? The Armageddon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Armageddon that and that, the birds that come in yeah. and yeah. Eat, you know, eat all that flat. Yeah. Right. And all the host of heaven will wear away and the sky will be rolled up like a scroll. What does that, that make you think? That takes you back to <coughs> Romans 6.14. Jesus coming. That's yeah. Jesus coming. That's Jesus coming. Correct. Correct. Like um, all their hosts will also wither away as a leaf withers from the vine or as one withers from the fig tree. So <coughs> that's the sun, moon, and stars pose. Mm -hmm. Okay. For my sword, sword is satiated where? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, explain that. Upon heaven. How is it satiated in heaven? Does satiated mean like where it Covered, is? Covered, just yes. soaked. Satisfied. 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 Oh, that's a good thing too. Complete. Uh, just like in 6 when it says it is yeah. sated with fat, that's the derivative of that word. Yeah. So it's sat, sated, satisfied, same yeah. thing. Covered. In Covered. Heaven. Drenched. So yeah. satisfied is in but why is it like that in heaven? Satisfied in heaven. I'm thinking of when Satan was in heaven. 
Yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. What would what blood would satisfy in heaven? Jesus is Jesus. Only Jesus. Right. And what is it? What does his blood do? Cleanses. Take a sin Cleanses. away. Right. Takes my sin away. Right. That's <coughs> not, I, that's only my opinion. Okay. I don't don't know anybody else's opinion on that, but it's in heaven filled with blood. Mm -hmm. That's not the army. So it, right. he's coming from heaven with that blood already on his sword. Okay? Well, I mean, it makes sense if you read the next sentence. Behold, it shall descend for judgment mm -hmm. upon Eden. Mm. For what he did on the cross is now satisfied. It's complete. And Does it's, that not make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. Because now judgment can be righteously divided. Righteously right. yeah. fulfilled. Yeah. Good. Um, verse 6, the sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is sated with fat, with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. What, were all, what was all that used <coughs> for? That's for sacrifices. Right, the wow. feasts and the sacrifices in the temple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the, for the Lord has a sacrifice in Basra mm -hmm. and a great slaughter <coughs> in the land of Edom. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, and it talks about how their land will be soaked with blood. And, and then we get to verse 9, and it's loose earth into brimstone, and its land will become burning pitch. Hmm. Okay, that sounds like a war. That sounds like the end of times. Okay. Uh, it will not be quenched night or day. It's smoke. Who's smoke? Edom's. 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 Will go up forever. Right. Now, if we take scripture literally, how can that be? When the earth and is going to be destroyed, we're going to get a new heaven and new earth. 20. So how can Eden smoke go up forever? The furnace, the exactly. bottom right now, the, the, the fire. lake of fire. Right, right. <laughs> furnace. Okay, so where does well, that tell furnace. you Edom is going to be? Hell. In hell. In hell. Lake of fire. Yeah. From generation to generation, it will be desolate. None will pass through it forever and ever. Very interesting mm -hmm. how he That's phrases that. Right. Because why is he so angry with Edom and Esau? I think when the children of Israel were going through, they were not allowed, they were not allowed to pass, pass through. through. That's interesting. And, and his judgment is upon anyone goes against. That goes Gross against his people. Right? There you go. There you go. But it's and especially Edom because they're his brother. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They are his children. Um, I think that's all I have on that. Um, <coughs> yeah. I think that's all I had on that. Aren't the Edomites Esau's descendants? descendants. Yes. yes. Yeah. They absolutely that's are. Where they went. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, I feel so that Eden will become a place of yeah. desolation, and then he describes that desolation. All right. Um, do you think they believe that's going to happen to them? That you said so. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I think they're just as proud as Satan. Yeah. I, I really do. Well, um, remember what religion comes from there now. Uh, the yes. Muslim. Muslim. Yes, exactly true. Exactly true. And well, he's just telling them that's not going to happen. Right. He right. Oh, and he has that. all these false wonders and signs mm -hmm. to show them, see, yeah. it's not going to happen. And I was able to kill <clears throat> the, two the two witnesses. Well, and also remember for a time here, their land is actually protected. Yes, because who's in there? Well, we'll get to that. Right. Uh, okay. Um, I went to Jeremiah 49. Okay. Which was also in your homework. Uh, I think I have the page on that. Page 117 of your homework. Basra and all its cities will become perpetual over and over and over and over. Ruins, waste. And has that happened yet? No. Not yet. So we know that's future. If you want to put a clock there, you know you could say future. Um, an envoy is sent to gather against Basra for battle. Has that happened yet? No. 
Not yet. So we know that's still future. Okay. Um, who's planned against Edom? Who has planned oh, against God. Edom? Oh, God. That And can anybody hold back his plans? No. Well, no. <laughs> no. 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 Right. But, but they, they think, think they, they can. can. Right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> so if he's planned against Edom, is that going to happen? Absolutely. It will. Now, when Jeremiah was prophesying, did it happen? No. 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 But he knew it would, because God said it would. <coughs> and he is a true, true prophet. prophet of God. Right. right. So even if he didn't see it in his lifetime, because did John see all this stuff happen in his lifetime? No, no. not <laughs> even day. Daniel or any of them. Daniel, right. They wrote it down, but they didn't see it happen. Yeah. They totally believed it would. I mean, John saw it happen. So that's interesting to see it, mm -hmm. but it hasn't happened yet. So how does his little finite mind uh, grasp that? Right? <laughs> exactly. Whatever God tells him. Exactly. I saw it. It, it, it happened, but it, is, it hasn't happened terrible. yet, but it will happen. But <coughs> I just write it. I can't. I can't. No, I just got to write it down. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just this <coughs> puny disciple, and I'm, you know, digging rocks. But this is what God decided to show yeah, me. And God's out. power yeah. through him just took care of it all. Yeah. The writing, the seeing, the, the hearing. perfect words. Yes. Took, took, totally, yeah. took totally care of that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, Isaiah 35. Again, I hope you're marking all these time things because those are critical mm -hmm. for us to understand. Okay. Um, go to uh, uh, verse 4. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. And boy, did we read this word, recompense. The recompense, recompense, it's, it's all everywhere. Yeah. Of God will come, but he will save you, Israel. Now, I'm sorry, if I were a Jew and I was being taught in the tabernacle and synagogue and stuff, I'd be with them. I'd be going, but nothing's going to happen to me because I'm a Jew. Because that's what it says. Mm -hmm. But it's out of context. Yes. Yeah. But what safety would you have in that? Right? Like, he will save you. Okay, so I'm good. Yeah. I'm fine. <clears throat> For eternity? For eternity. Yep. I'm good. No, you're not. Okay. You're not. But I could totally understand their side. Totally exactly. get it. Um, it talks about the eyes of the blind open, the ears of the deaf unstopped, the lame will leap like a deer. Well, Jesus did all that. His disciples did that. <clears throat> the tongue of the mute will shout for joy. The waters will break forth in the wilderness and streams in the air. But well, that hasn't happened. The scorched land will become a pool in the thirsty ground springs of water. Now that hasn't happened. Mm -hmm. um, verse 8, it will be called the highway of holiness. The unclean will not <coughs> travel. <on>. So cool. <laughs> so what do you get to walk? Highway of the holiness. The highway of holiness. <laughs> right. Because yeah. I'm not unclean. But it will be for him who walks that way, and fools will not wander on it. And I'm like, thank God. I'm looking forward to that. No lions. I like that. Yeah, no lions will be there, nor will any vicious beast go up on it. These will not be found there, but redeemed. the redeemed will walk there. And the ransomed of the Lord will return and come with joyful shouting to Zion. Who do you think that would be? The Jews. The Jews. When will they come back to Zion? When the new earth. Yeah. Right. I think yeah. this is the ones that have fled the beast for three and a half years. Mm -hmm. They're protected, which we figure is going to be where uh, in Daniel it says he can't go to get them. Right. Which yeah. was Ammon, Moab, and so he goes Israel, somewhere else to find um, somebody yeah. else, right? Because he can't get them, so just well, like he can fight them, them. right? Yeah, but exactly. I can get the ones that are back over here. Okay, um, are these the ones who fled his wilderness to escape the beast? Now that's not a big jump. Right. It, it, that could be that's a total possibility. Um, and I added it. No, it's just possibility. I can't say it says right here. It's that no, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. But it's a possibility. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not twisting scripture to make it say what it does say. Yeah. So I could I could go with that. Um, 
Let's do Isaiah 63. Boy, I had Revelation references all over this one. I don't know about you guys. Who is this who comes from Edom? I'm like, mm -hmm. but he comes from Edom. That can't be good. Then you read yes. it with garments of glowing yes. colors yeah. from Basra. This one, one who is majestic. And then we get the capital H, yes. right? Yeah, In right. his apparel. So who is this? Jesus. Jesus. This is Jesus. He comes from Petra. Marching mm -hmm. in the greatness of his strength. It is I, quotation marks, so he's yeah. speaking. Mm. Jesus is speaking, right? Yeah. It is I who speak in righteousness, mighty to save. What does Revelation 19.11 say? Mm -hmm. mm. In righteousness, he Hallelujah. judges and wages war. Finally. Finally. No. Exactly. Righteous. In the whole oh. world, it's asked, why did he go to those places? And I keep wondering, Jews that he has to gather from those places? That's what I come up with. Yes, that he has to gather back in the fold. Because, you know, they've gone to escape yeah. right. the beast who is very angry with the woman and tries to, you know, get her. But can't. But can't. And what do we know he sends after her with the earth? Water. Water. A flood. Mm -hmm. So that's going to happen in that last three and a half years. There will be a flood that he sends. Well, that's another sign and wonder. Mm -hmm. Opposite. Mm -hmm. Right? God's in a worldwide flood. Right. Satan sends a flood mm -hmm. and the and earth is not cooperating with him. And it gets dry. That's right. right. It's, it's sucked safe. up like a straw. It's sucked up like a straw. He can't get to them. Yeah. If he's angry before, can you imagine the anger now? He's embarrassed. Right. He's right. got all these This is a sign and wonder that he did that didn't quite work out the way he thought yeah, it would. Really. Yeah. Okay. I don't, um, think he's Isaiah 63, I don't think he has any humility. I have trodden the wine trough mm -hmm. alone. alone. That's really good because remember in Revelation it's the 14, when yeah. he does, it's by himself. No other angel helps him. Nobody comes to. He's the one that treads the wine press. I'm like, whoa. Oh. And from the peoples there was no man with me. In case you missed the word alone. I also trod them in my anger and trampled them in my wrath. But wait, ang you're not supposed to be angry. You're not supposed to have wrath. But yeah, what does verse 1 against, say? Uh, righteousness. In righteousness. Yes. Okay? Their lifeblood is sprinkled on my garments. So what did they have the opportunity to do? Accept Christ. They had the opportunity to accept Christ, but... They, so they no. didn't. Uh, blasphemy. Right. So that he is treads the wine tears of the fierce wrath of God the Almighty in 1915, but he is clothed in a robe dipped.